welcome back to another video and welcome back to my channel. So today guys we're going to go over my top exercises for if you are suffering with hip pain. Now hip pain can often stem from a lack of mobility through the hip joint itself and a la lack of strength through the muscles surrounding the hip joint. So we're going to do some exercise today to help improve both of those aspects. So you can also have hip pain that comes from underlying issues like a torn labrum or all sorts of different things. So if you do, if you are suffering with any of those guys, then do just check with your health practitioner before going ahead with these exercises. Okay, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, guys, please do come over and check us out. So my Instagram handle is alicia.trudipilates. I will pop my details up on screen here and here. So do come over and see what we get up to over there. I post videos on there two to three times a week um, and pictures, of course, the odd selfie, as you do. So do come over and check us out. All right, guys, let's get into the video. on some strength. So we're going to work a little bit of glutes and a little bit of hamstrings to help to support the hip joint itself. So I've got my feet here up onto a block. If you have got a block at home then do by all means do that. If not then pop your feet up on the chair or up onto your sofa. Um, or of course you can do it with the feet flat but it does help to just get a little bit more strength built in if you can have the feet elevated slightly. So we're going to have a lie down. We'll turn the palms of the hands so they're facing up towards the ceiling and we're going to come into our bridging. So we're starting off with a plank up, so we've got that imaginary rod running through the spine. We're going to breathe in to prepare. Now press down into the feet as we lift up, so we're lifting up as one piece. Hold, breathe in, feel those bottom muscles activate and then fold the hips as we plank the spine back down. Breath in to prepare. Press down into the feet as we plank the spine up, pause, breathing in, and then folding at the hips as we plank the spine back down. And again, breath in, exhaling to lift, pause, and then we're planking the spine back down. Okay, we're going to add on to that. So we're breathing in to prepare. Breath out as we plank the spine up. Now from here, transfer your weight onto your left foot. We're gonna float that right knee up into tabletop. Place the foot down as we breathe in. Stand onto the right as we then lift the left leg up. Inhale to lower, step onto the left. The right knee lifts. If this is too much guys, then just stick with the up and down that we were doing a moment ago. Placing the foot down, step onto the right as the left leg lifts. Inhale to lower, one more each leg, step onto the left, the right knee lifts up. Inhale to lower, step onto the right, and then the left leg lifts. Placing the foot down and then planking the spine back down. Okay, our next exercise, we're gonna grab our band. So if you have a band, then do grab that. If not, then grab your dressing gown cord. It works just as well, if not better. So we're gonna pop the band or your cord around the back of your thigh. So we're gonna come into a little bit of a mobility exercise now. So shoulders are sliding down and we're using the band to support the movement. So from here, we're gonna allow the knee to open out to side and we're gonna draw a circle on the ceiling with the knee. So we're going out, all the way around, past the midline, and then center and out again. So we're trying to think about stirring your leg bone around in your hip socket, avoiding too much movement through the pelvis, so tummy muscles are engaging. Let's go around the other way. So coming in towards the midline, out, around, and through, and again, into the midline, out, around, and through. Try to keep the other knee nice and still, often wants to have a little wiggle and a move around with us. Okay, let's go for another two. So we're going to go in, out, and around, and then one more, in towards midline, down, out, around, and through. Okay, let's do the other side. So we're going to pop the band behind the other knee, 
holding on, shoulders sliding down. So we're gonna start by coming, uh, no, we're gonna go out to start with. So out, around, across the midline, and through, and again, out, around, across, and through. So tummy muscles pulling in, trying to keep that pelvis nice and steady. Just keep the shoulders nicely relaxed there as well. And then we've got two more, and then we'll change direction. Good, okay, coming across, out, around, up, and through, and across, out, around, up, and through. So just thinking about always oiling that hip joint, so just getting a little bit more movement through it, a little bit more oiling. And then two more to go here. Good, and then last one to go, guys. And then relax from there. Well done, really, really good work. Right, for our next couple, we're gonna come back into some strengthening ones. So we're gonna come onto our sides, we're gonna do a little clam and a side leg lift, uh, lift series. So we're having a rollover. We're gonna pop your arm underneath your head. You can have the arm straight or bent, however is most comfortable. Or if you would rather, you can grab your block that you were using earlier and pop that underneath your head as well. So there's lots of different options there. So hips are stacked up, your shoulders are stacked up, and then we're just gonna bring both feet into a hover above the mat. So from here, we're gonna breathe in. Now keep the feet together as we breathe out to press the top knee open just as far as you can keep those hips stacked up. So you're watching, you're not rolling back through the pelvis. Breathing in as we lower, and then breathing out to press. Those abdominals pulling in. Breathing in to lower. And again, breath out as we press. Breathing in to lower. And again, pressing the knee open, keeping those hips stacked. So you should be feeling that top glute, glute med, working nice and hard for this one, guys. The underneath one is going to be active there as well. <sighs> breathing in. Let's go for another two. So breathing out as we press. And lower. And then one more. Pressing open. And releasing. Okay. We're going to relax down. We're going to straighten the legs out now along the mat. So in a nice long line, we're going to do some top leg lifts. So top leg is just going to lift up in line with the hips. So we're not going to go too high. Flex the foot now, push through the heel. Now really think about that length. We're almost thinking about distracting the leg bone out of the hip socket. So we get that nice lengthened feeling through the hip and lower back down. So top leg lifts up. Flex, really think about that length and slowly lower back down. Top leg lifts up. Flex, push through the heel and lengthen and lower back down. And again, top leg lifts. Flex, lengthen, pull those tummy muscles in as well. And lower, two more to go, lifting up. Flex, push through the heel and lower, one more to go guys. Top leg lifts up and then flex, lengthen and lower back down. Okay, we're gonna have a little twizzle and do the other side because we do want to make sure that we are even and balanced on both sides. So, having a lie down, knees bent up, feet resting back in line with your sit bones. Again, either the arm coming underneath the head, your head block, or the arm can be straight there as well. So from there, bringing both feet into that hover position. So we're breathing in, tummy muscles are pulling in as we breathe out to press that top knee open, only as far as we can keep those hips nicely stacked up. Breathing in as we lower, and then breathing out to press, pulling in through those tummy muscles. Inhale to lower, exhaling, pressing open, so that glute med working nice and hard. Breathing in. And then breath out to press, breathing in, exhaling as we press the knee open, breathing in to lower, three more to go, breath out to press, inhaling, and then two more, exhale, press open, good guys, breathing in, one more to go, pressing open, and releasing off, good, okay, straightening the legs out now, so we're in that nice long line. Top leg lifts in line with the hip. Flex the foot, push through the heel, get that length, get that distraction out of the hip socket and lower back down. And then top leg lifts. 
Flex, push away, get that length and lower back down. And again, top leg lifts up. Flex, push through the heel and lower back down. And again, top leg lifts. Exhaling to flex and lower down. Top leg lifting up, pull those tummy muscles in. Flex and lower, two more to go here. Top leg lifts, flex, push away and lower. One more, top leg lifting up, flexing and lowering back down. Right, we're gonna have a roll onto our fronts from there. So, hands are gonna come underneath the forehead and we're gonna come into some little single leg lifts. So, setting up, your pubic bone is sinking, those tummy muscles are lifting, shoulders are sliding down. So we're gonna breathe in. Now we're gonna think about lengthening one leg along the mat, the knee is slightly soft so we're not locked out through the knee joint, and we're gonna hover the leg up. Breathing in to lower. The opposite leg lengthens, the knee softens as we hover. So we're getting that hamstring, the back of the thigh, and that glute working. Breathing in to lower. Lengthen the leg, slacken the knee as we lift. Releasing back down and then switching over. So we're trying to avoid too much rocking from side to side through the pelvis. And again, we're just getting those muscles surrounding the hip to activate and to strengthen. Okay, let's go for another four here. So breathing out, the leg lengthens and we lift. Inhale, and then three, lengthen away as we lift. Breathing into lower, two more, lengthen and lift. Breathing in, and one more, lengthening, lifting away and releasing back down. Okay, we're gonna come on to all fours for our last one. So, knees are underneath the hips, the hands are directly underneath the shoulders. Now we just want to find our neutral here, so we can come into a small arch, a small curl, and then settle halfway. Now we're gonna come into some opposite arm and leg lifts from there. So we're gonna breathe in. Now, as we breathe out, we're gonna slide the left leg along the mat and the right hand, and then we can just gently lift into a hover. Inhaling to slide in. We're then gonna slide the right leg and the left hand along, trying to avoid too much movement through the trunk and through the um, torso. Lengthen and lift, and then sliding back in. Left leg, right hand, and then we can lift away. Breathing in to slide in. Right leg, left hand, slide along and lift. Breathing in to slide back in. Let's do four more. So left leg, right hand, and reach away. Inhale to slide in. Right leg, left hand lengthen and lift. Drawing back in, two more. Left leg, right hand, and reach. Inhale, sliding in. Right leg, left hand, reach and then sliding back in. All right, have a sit back if you're comfortable to do so and just have a little shell stretch from there. Beautiful. All right, well done guys. I really, really do hope that you enjoyed it and that you found the video useful. So if you did, please do give the video a thumbs up and please do consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any further workouts. Also, if you have any, uh, any other ideas of any workouts you'd like me to do, then please do pop them down in the comments and I will try to get that sorted for you. All right, guys, take care and I will see you all in the next video.